What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your banners and thumbnails and logos look that much better using advanced text effects to make your text look better in Paint.net. So let me just start out by saying that this whole entire video is just dedicated to the Paint.net text tool. It's going to be um, how to add some cool effects to make your your logos and your your written word on your thumbnails using Paint.net look that much better. Now this is more of an advanced tutorial. Um, so if you use paint.net before this video is for you if you're a beginner i recommend you watch some paint.net beginner tutorials so before you um get started with the paint on editing you really need a really good font um thumbnails are basically the sign of your video it's going to be the thing that draws the viewer in because that's really the first thing that that they see so you, re you really want a font that's big that's bold and it's real and it's good you don't want really thin fonts like this as you can this is not good for a thumbnail fonts like if you go to cartoon big bold fonts like these like grow bold mini those are really good but you want a really um good font to use for your thumbnail so just download a good font that you guys like and let's get straight to the text editing so let's jump straight into paint.net so um i chose a font it's called brady bunch remastered it's a really good font and it's really nice for thumbnails so just go to the text tool of course and type in your font i'm just gonna type in my name just in the audio uh i recommend starting with a white background just so you can um add your colors later and, and you can see it better so what you want to do is first add your color so you don't since this is advanced and you want to make your thumbnails look better it does require a little bit more effort but you don't want just a, a single solid color to make it look really good i recommend using a gradient which is basically a lighter color gradiently gra uh, gradually changing to a, the, the same color but darker on the bottom here um it's a really commonly used tool in basically all um, GFX. So what you want to do is go to the magic wand, hold shift and select one letter so it selects all the text that's the same color. And go to the gradient tool, which is G on your keyboard. So now what you want to do is choose uh, the same color but uh, different shades, one darker, one lighter. I'm just going to do a yellow as the primary and as the secondary, a, an orange. So now what you want to do is hold shift and drag and, and drag from the top to the bottom. There we go. So now as you can see, if you deselect it, it is a nice little gradient looking effect there. It's light yellow on the top, gradually changing to a, a dark orange. And there we go. Now we have that gradient tool done. Now as you can see, the text already looks much better than if it was just a solid yellow or solid orange. It looks uh, much more flashy, in my opinion. So now, instead of just leaving it there and adding a drop shadow, because as you can see, if you put your background in and you leave your text like that, you won't really be able to see it and it won't look as good. So since it's advanced, I'm going to show you all the effects that you can possibly do to make, that, that I do to make your text look really cool. So what I like to do, add, I add a new layer. First of all, I go to the magic wand, go to the text layer. I'm, I'm going to name the layer so you can know which layer I'm on. So this is the text layer. All right, so go so go to the text layer, go to the magic wand, hold shift and select the outside of the text. So the outside of the text is selected. Hold shift to make sure that the O's, the parts that are inside the O's are selected too. So now go now make sure this is still selected and go to the, the layer two. Now go to the paint bucket tool and make it a black background. Now you have to make sure that the text and the black background are on two separate layers. So now, what you want, now when you have them on two separate layers, as you can see, you can see that. Go to the background layer, go to effects, object, and drop shadow. Now, if you don't have this, make sure you you go to my how to install Paint on it plugins video. I will have that linked in the description because this drop shadow is basically it's a, a must-have plugin. So yeah, go to object, drop shadow, and what you want to do is make it a white drop shadow. It's not really a drop shadow because it's like an inner shadow of the text. As you guys can see. There's a white inner shadow on the texture. Let me just make it much more. Yeah, as you can see, there we go. There's an inner shadow. So what I'm going to do is put the white widening radius, maybe it's up to 9. And put the blur radius up to, actually no, put the widening radius to 8 or 9. Put the blur radius down a bit, maybe 10. That's pretty good. Now as you can see, it has an inner white drop shadow. Now as you can see, it doesn't really look that good. But to make it look much better... First, just go to the magic wand and delete the black background first by holding shift and pressing delete. Now, as you can see, it doesn't really look good at all with a white background there. It just looks weird. You can not you can barely see the color of the text. But to make it look much better, go right-click on the, on the layer 2, or double-click it, actually, and go to mode. And if we go to overlay, as you can see, it looks much better. It's like a, a shine 
almost like that. So now, um, a second thing I like to do is I add a new layer again. I'm, you're, I'm gonna keep adding new layers. Go to the text, go to rectangle select, and select just the bottom half. Just select the bottom half of the text right there. Now press Control C on your keyboard to copy it and paste it on a layer above. Well, now we only have just the bottom half of the text visible. Now you probably will see what I'm doing here, but what I'm doing is if I go to the top layer, if I go to adjustments and hue slash saturation, I'll, what you want to do is put the lightness down. Yeah, if you have to put the lightness a bit down there. There we go. Now and I had to cool little. Uh, I don't know, like it's like a mini shadow effect to the text there. So yeah, that looks pretty cool there. Now, another thing, now make sure you also merge the layer down too. This is probably one of the last things I do. Go to the text layer and what you want to do is duplicate it. So press this duplicate layer button. Now what you want to do is go to the bottom layer, press control A and move the text down like that. If you want to make it perfectly straight down, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. So you just go on the WASD keys, you can keep pressing the down key until you can see it. it's going to go straight down perfectly. So put it all the way down. As you can see, that looks kind of weird. You just have like another text protruding out from the bottom. Now, the effect is if you go to the bottom layer, if you go back to hue slash saturation, and if you put the lightness all the way down to about minus 50, bam, as you can see, it has a cool 3D effect to the text right there. It looks really good in my opinion, and it looks really flashy on thumbnail so now we're basically almost done this is really the main effects that i do on my thumbnail to make the text look really good make sure you merge both layers again so now as you can see it looks really cool now you have your cool pinned on a text effect you added the inner shadow you added um a nice little bottom half darker thing and you add that little 3d little darker thing too i don't know what really to call them now the final touch is go to effects object drop shadow again and just add a simple black drop shadow and you are done with your text as you can see it looks super cool um I, my personal opinion this text looks really great and awesome for thumbnails and for for paint on net um being free you can do such amazing stuff with it so I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was kind of long, but I really wanted to go in detail about all the effects that I love doing on my t thumbnails to make the text look that much better. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.